the flight tonight? Uh, look, it was, it, was a, it was a good test for me. Um, he, he was a tough Mexican. I said that the whole time. He was coming to win. You know, he, he showed up in good shape. And look, it, it was tough. Um, I, I think, you know, at times I thought, you know, I, re I really had him hurt and I was going to get him out of there. But he, I, I struggled to get momentum. I think, you know, with the low blows, now he, he got himself, bought himself a, a heap of breaks. So, look, um, look, he's tough, and he's, he's, you know, he showed why he's, uh, he's had so many fights at, at that level and with good guys and and got through the fight, so um, yeah, it was a good test. George, another clinical display? Yeah, absolutely. Very proud of, of Sam's performance today. And it's, uh, I think it's exactly what we sort of wanted, you know. He got the opportunity to test his chin a couple of times and, and get in and mix it up, and it was, um, yeah, it was a really good performance. And I agree, I, I think he had him hurt. I think he, he was ready to finish the fight a few times, and um, those stoppages helped. And, you know, kudos to him. It's very smart, you know, Take the take the one point loss rather than get stopped by by Semi Goodman's body shots. Uh, the next one's Wollongong, so look, uh, I'll be going again in December. I'll be pretty much straight back into camp, and and uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, who it is, you know, we'll, we'll sit down with uh, Georgie, Maddie, and my team and we'll, and we'll go through that and go through the options and, and see who's available but um yeah I'll be going again in December so four flights for the year I'm staying busy um, I said before I'm not, I'm not sitting out I'm not I'm not waiting waiting around and, and sitting for, for an opportunity I'm staying active I'm staying busy I'm going to keep taking guys out it was crazy and it, it was going all the way around it wasn't just like one little section tonight it was uh it was crazy it was you know the Gold Coast really showed out and I love fighting up here as well, like the Gold Coast. It, the fight week on here, it's just, there's nothing else like fight week on the Goldie. It, it's such a good spot. It's, um, I'm, I'm stoked to always come back and fight on the Gold Coast, but uh, look, I'm, I'm really excited about going home and, and taking a big show to Wollongong. And, uh, you know, we're fighters from down Wollongong. You know, you've got, you got me, you know, in the boxing game, and you've got Volk next week repping, the, repping uh, Wollongong. So, look, it's, it's, uh, we're a big fight in town. We love our, love our fighting. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud to be uh, taking a big show to Wollongong. A lot of people thought this was a step up fight for you. Did you think you sent a statement to the international fighters in your division? Yeah, in, in ways. Look, oh, I'm just worried about, you know, putting one foot in front of the other and keep keep knocking them over and, and getting these wins. And that's what I'm doing. I'm in, in there with world-level guys and, and smart operators. And look, he showed, you know, he, he was a smart operator. He knew how to get breaks. He knew how to, to you know, get the referee involved sort of thing, I thought. And... Um, I thought I had him out of there a few times and he, and he held on. He was hurt a bunch, but look, he's, like I said, he's a smart operator and um, he, he got through it, but it's another test and another test passed. What was he saying to you there afterwards, mate? Like, was he, he apologising or the shock? <laughs> oh, I, I think I might have understood him wrong at the start. He, I think he said they weren't low. And I was like, what do you mean they weren't low? Like, I felt him. Like, they, they were low, but... um. <laughs> Mate, um, yeah, honestly, um, <laughs> they're sore. Like, freaking, it's not, honestly, it's uh, yeah, it was crazy. But then afterwards, he was like, nah, I, I didn't intentionally mean to, you know. So I was like, nah, all good, like, sweet as. But um, that, I think I might have understood him wrong at the start. But yeah, he's it was all, all sweat smoothed over at the end, you know. Like it's you shake hands at the end of a fight and yeah, and you move on. Were you a bit Hundred percent. That was another one. Like I thought, the refs gave him a break. I'm like, I've nearly got him out of here right now, and he's uh, he, he's decided to stop the fight, and you know he bought thirty seconds, you know, from a low blow. So it was, it was crazy. I was already that far ahead on the scorecards. Like it was, you know, what's taking a point doing? Like, you know, you're not going to disqualify the bloke. You know, he's hit me low thirty times, and you're not, <laughs> you're taking your first point. So, look, uh, I thought that was just that was madness. But um, yeah, is what it is. You know, we got through it. We. You know, like I said, another test passed. On to the next one. Sam, there were a lot of younger boxing fans in the audience tonight cheering you on. How much does it motivate you knowing that you're inspiring not just the next generation of boxing fans, but potentially the next generation of Australian boxers? Yeah, I, I pinch myself with little stuff like that. Um, that's pretty cool, you know, when it's really humbling when you see, you know, like, especially like the little kids and stuff want to get photos and that's, that's mad. And, you know, it's another reason why, why you do this, you know, and, um, I'm grateful, you know, for anyone who does support me and gets behind me. You know, you see it out there every time. I've, I've got, uh, I've got the craziest fans. They're travelling fans as well, and look, uh, they know how to enjoy themselves. But yeah, the, 
uh, it's pretty cool when it, it broadens and you know the the younger audience and you know it might inspire a few kids to pick up boxing and, and put on the gloves you know so it's yeah that's how I got started. How many fights away from fighting for a world title do you think you are right now? Ooh, at least one so <laughs> I'm fighting again in December so at, at least one probably maybe if not two, you know, depending on how the division plays out. So I think mid next year you'll, you'll see my title shot come. Is he going to be in a way still division? Does he stick around or does he... Or did, oh, who knows? So, look, I'm not, I'm not going to be dictated off what other people's plans are and, and what they're deciding to do. I'm worrying about myself and what I need to do to put me in a, uh, the best position possible to... When my, when my uh, shot gets called for the, you know, I'm still mandatory. So when my shot gets called, whoever's got that belt, I'll be going at and, and that's it. So, but um, until then, I'll stay busy, I'll keep winning, and I'll keep going. Thanks, Sammy. Beautiful. Cheers. Thanks.